Good morning from me and my avocado toast. I am having breakfast this morning, pointing with a giant knife. This is actually a very tiny knife. I'm putting my phone on the plate to transport it. It is Thursday morning, the start of my weekend. I'm watching Bianca's vlog. If you watched my last, whoa, <laughs> that was just unnecessary. If you watched my last vlog, you might have heard me say that I booked a flywheel class for today. What a rhyme. So I'm going spinning at in, well, I need to leave in like 45 minutes. I'm gonna eat this, digest a bit, drink some water, change, and go to Flywheel, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm waiting for the Metro now, and I got Starbucks, but like, look at this. It's supposed to be iced coffee, I'll explain in a minute. It's supposed to be iced coffee with coconut milk, and I think it's coconut milk. Maybe there's coffee in there somewhere. But yeah, I'm drinking coffee again. Don't be mad. Or I guess I'm not, because there's like no coffee in this. This is really distracting. Can you stop dancing on my head? Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm actually early for once, which I always like feel like I'm running late, but um, good job, me. I'm in the bathroom right now, vlogging in the bathroom. I think that's a great tagline, never coast. But yeah, what I love about Flywheel is, this sounds sponsored, it's not, I wish. Um, their facilities are nice, like, and they give you free shoes every time, and you check them on iPads, and it's just great. <laughs> Okay, I just left Flywheel and now I'm walking through this place called City Center and I'm so excited for the cherry blossoms bloom because there's like a cherry blossom festival and they decorate this whole thing. I've seen pictures. Anyway, I had a really good Flywheel class and my favorite instructor said that next week at the same time afterwards they're giving out free sweet grain and I'm really sad because I'm gonna be on a plane to California. I mean, obviously I'm excited to be on a plane to California. But like, the one week that I'm gone, I'm missing free sweet grain. I'm actually gonna jump over to Sephora really quick because I'm out of my TARDIS mascara and I really want a new one. But yeah, this is so pretty. Okay, let's go to Sephora. Hello, Sephora. Give me every mascara you have. Let's see. We want the TARDIS. Oh, hell yeah. Fun fact, when I came to Playlist DC my senior year of college, they gave us these free and I fell in love with it. So I've been buying it ever since because Tarte doesn't send me anything. <laughs> so if any of my YouTube friends watching this have like extras of these laying around they want to get rid of, hit me up. I love this stuff. I just couldn't wait because I got this package. It's the mail. This is from Honey Bum and I have never tried an, ooh, what just made that noise? I haven't tried anything from Honey Bum before and their clothes are so cute and I've always seen people do hauls. They did send these to me for free, just full disclosure. I'm not being paid for this, it's not sponsored, but I thought it'd be so fun to open them with you guys because I love hauls and I got some things that are out of my comfort zone. I know a lot of times when I show things I get, um, it's probably a lot of the same stuff, same color scheme, you guys know, gray, blush pink, simple things, <laughs> blush pink. And this is like kind of a spring break haul. I got these things with Vegas in mind. I did my best guess and I got a medium, I think and everything, but if something's different, I'll let you know. An off the shoulder, um, long sleeve, cross front romper. Feels really soft. This is a really nice quality. Honey Bum is not that expensive and I do have a discount code for you guys. I'll put it on the screen right here. I got a pair of jeans. But these aren't just any jeans. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be cute in person or like tacky. Um, so far they look kinda cool though. These are printed with stars and they have these huge cutouts in the front. So pretty much my grandma would not really like these probably. I think they could be so cool, such a statement piece. Definitely not something I would normally wear. But with the right outfit, I think it might work. Um, so we will see. If you know me, you know I am not a camo person. Never been a camo person. I, it's just, we don't mix well. This is a color, it's a blue camo and I love mesh sheer tops, you guys know. It's brown. And ooh, this is cool. I think I will like this actually. This is just a cropped mesh blue um, camo top. So, and I'm gonna spare you by not making a joke about not being able to see it. This is the first dress I got in mind for Vegas. It's a long sleeve white dress and it has like a plunging neck, but it wasn't like super wide, like open plunging neck. It's so soft, oh my gosh. And it's just this bodycon dress, it's what it looks like. It's a lot 
thinner and lighter and more casual than I expected. I, because it's thin, I feel like it's not gonna look flattering, but we will see. Cute though, right? They have it in black too. I feel like Cerebo might be able to pull this off, but me, I don't know. It's a fuzzy brown coat. I feel like this is a statement blogger kind of piece. Um, I feel like I'm gonna look like a wannabe rock star or wannabe grizzly bear, one of the two. This is cool because the whole top and the arms are mesh and then the bottom half is solid and it has these like gold studs on the bodice of it, which I thought could look really cool. Oh, it's stretcher than I thought. This seems like it'll be really comfy. This is called the Love Hurts Crop Top, I think. And it's this, my color scheme. And it's this, oh, these hanger straps are pulling out, but thick strapped. Um, crop tank top and it's such a pretty color. This material feels so nice. I feel like this will be really comfy. I thought it would feel restricting, but the band says love all over it, which I'm not normally someone who goes for graphic tee feels or like things with words on it in general. This is what the piece that I think I might be most excited for. So I'm nervous to open it in case it doesn't live up. Ooh, it's thicker than I thought. It's a bodysuit and I might wear this to Coachella. Oh damn, this is intense. Okay, this one needs some work. I need sticky boobs. It's really pretty, oh yeah, I'm gonna like this. Oh, the straps aren't adjustable though. Hopefully it works. And the entire sides are cut out like this. Oh, it's so cool. And it's a bodysuit. This is gonna be sick. I'm picturing this with like black ripped shorts and gold accessories. I forgot about this. This is one of the most important things. I got a leather jacket. This feels so nice. This is like an actual motorcycle jacket style where the front zips over to the side and it has this buckle and all this gold hardware. This feels like a nice jacket. It's obviously fake leather and it's so beautiful. It has like a buckle on the bottom and on the sleeves. Yay, new clothes. Make sure to check out the link to all of these in the description. Thank you, Honey Bum, for sending them to me. Hello, good morning, happy Friday. It is a happy Friday because I'm about to go get my hair done. Hair flip. This is the last time you will see my hair looking this. I'm not gonna say ratty. It honestly doesn't look that bad. It's just so dark because it's grown out so much in seven months. I definitely want it to be like significantly lighter um, than what I got last time and I want it to be more ashy. Like this looks so yellow brassy at the bottom now and I even though I use purple shampoo on it sometimes. Your appointments can take a long time. There's no telling how long I'm gonna be there. Um, so I'm gonna make avocado tips because it's pretty filling and it never lets me down. It's a look. And oh, it's not even focused. Fuck, let's transition. She did such a good job. So I went to, I loved her. She was so funny. And the studio was really cute. I went to Shanae at um, Talio Hair Design in Georgetown. So whenever I get my hair done, I'm always just so, so used to having my natural dark hair already have been like down here because it's been so long since I've gotten it done. And so it like freaks me out to have blonde like that close to my roots, even though it's blended right. And so like, there's always that split second where I don't know if you guys experienced this too. You just got your hair washed, you're walking back, you sit down into the chair and before it's dried, you see like a little piece of it that's a lot lighter like in the front or something while it's wet and you're like, oh my God, what have I done? I'm still getting used to it. It's still like, it's kind of a lot. I know it's quite blonde. I'm so excited. It feels so fresh and so clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. We're back in the haul spot. More things to haul for you. This package is from Romway. Cute light distressed denim skirt because the only denim skirt I have is black. So I thought this would be fun for the spring. It's just so fitting for my area of study, which is international peace and conflict resolution, that I have a sweater with a world symbol and a bunch of flags on the sleeves. America. I'm gonna embarrass myself if these are wrong. China, Britain, are these the Security Council members? Australia, JK. And I think that's Mexico. So I'm not exactly sure how they chose these countries. If this fun little off the shoulder top. I kind of have a feeling off the shoulder tops were like a trend for last year that aren't, it's gonna be as much of a thing this year, but I don't care because I love them. I like the print a lot, it looks see-through. 
but it's mustard yellow with white flowers. These are the shorts, they're just flowy shorts. And then it has this little um, short sleeve top that ties in the front. This looks small and I don't know if it's gonna cover my boobs. This literally doesn't cover anything. But you know, it's gonna be a trial and error. Probably error. I got a pair of Distress Denim Black Shorts. High-waisted shorts, so yeah. All right, kids, I was just about to go get my laundry and the power went out and I was like, no, this is not okay. But I came back on after like 10 seconds. I already got all my workout clothes hang drying. The rest of my clothes should be finishing up in the dryer. All right, so I'm gonna go get them. We're getting ready to go out and Tyler randomly just like looks in the mirror and she's like, I should cut my hair. I'm gonna do that right now. And I was like, can you vlog it? And she's like, I'll bring, I'll bring my trash can in here and I'll do it in your room. And I was like, okay. Any moment now, she will emerge. And we will watch Tyler cut her own hair. What can't this woman do, you know? Anyway, I'm wearing my new Shein top. Choosing a highlighter. I think I'm gonna use Skinny Dip from Jouer. Just like holding this up awkwardly. Do you cut your own hair often, ma'am? Yeah. Like I don't think I've gotten a real haircut in like Wait, yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Okay, so Tyler doesn't dye her hair. Like, it's just, that's their natural color, like, same. Um, and she cuts her own hair, apparently, so. Beauty tips with Ty. Don't take my advice. So she's wearing the honey bum coat. What is your strategy here? Do you? I just cut. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, do you look and, like, measure, kind of? Like, yeah, I, like, oh, I'm gonna go like this. Is your mirror gonna fall down or something? Um, I mean, it's leaning against the wall, so it should be okay, but just don't push too hard against it, mm -hmm. is my advice. Mm -hmm. Do you, like, just have all one length, so you don't, like... Yeah. Wow. I don't look good with layers. How long have you been cutting your own hair? I'm so, like, intrigued by this, because I would never trust myself. Since, like, high school. I mean, it's not always even. Yeah, I mean, eyebrows are twins, not sisters, you know, so... Same with hair. <laughs> yeah. It's like the parent trap when um, they like cut each other's hair and pierce their ears. I yeah, feel like I you would do not. that. Uh, well, actually my cousin pierced my ear. It was just so spur of the moment too. You're just like, huh, I should cut my hair right now. I was looking at it and it was like so dead at the end of it. Oh, place. dude, you should have seen my split ends when I went into the salon today. Let's see the after. I would never guess that you did it yourself. Wow, I haven't cut my hair myself since like I was four. I'm going to Touch up my eyeshadow a little bit. My skin is disgusting, so don't get too close. I'm drinking vodka with crystal light, the usual. Some kid in high school always used to call me Lizzie McGuire. Really? I thought I looked like Lizzie McGuire. Just because you're blonde? I feel like, because she had like short hair and like, I don't know, she looked like Hillary Duff. I went on a date with a kid named Gordy once. No way. Yeah. Wait, I'm pretty sure his name was Gordon though, or was it Gordy? Well, I think his name was Gordon, but they called him Gordy. Oh, no, no, no. They called him Gordo. 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 Do you remember that? Uh, you definitely didn't go on a date with a Gordo. That would be, like, way too weird. On my date with Gordy, I shaved off his beard. What is with you suddenly becoming a hairstylist and barber in one video? That's my ideal first date activity. If I ever go on a date and he's like, let me just let you shave my beard, I'll be like, okay, let me, then let's go to the chapel and get married directly after feel about facial hair in general because I'm not the biggest fan of it but it's kind of grown on me as I've gotten older yeah if it's like done right if it's like slight scruff that works for them like I think it's just such a personal I love thing scruff. I love scruff. this is yeah, definitely gonna drip down my face because my eye always waters bottoms up mm -hmm. I don't even know if I'm gonna use any of this footage I'm just sitting here like filming this whole random conversation I just look like an egg yeah, like, do you ever just look at yourself when your hair's up and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm an, an egg? egg. <laughs> I see so many Snapchats that are just like, I'm an egg. Like, there's no real universal definition of being an egg, but you just feel it, you know? Anyway, that was fun watching Tyler cut her own hair. Maybe when I finish my outfit, I think I'm gonna wear my new honey bum leather jacket over this. <laughs>